Moaning Myrtle? No, that's a different singing bathroom ghost. First incident post move. My friends have had things like this, but this comes out of personal experience. I am a 15-year-old girl and a level 8 gymnast in rural Pennsylvania. After the old gym incidents and the need for some new space and equipment, we moved to a new gym. This story occurs a few weeks after the move. The new gym was the gymnasium of an old high school, so the bathrooms are stalls like at school, across the room are a few changing stalls. The rooms is girls only, the stalls with toilets are in a row of three, the last one being handicapped accessible with a ramp going up to it. One practice I had to use the bathroom while the rest of my team was vaulting. I went to the large stall up the ramp, since no one else was in there, you can always tell if anyone goes in or out, since the door creaks heavily, and the outside noise gets a thousand times louder. I was humming to myself, louder than usual since, as I said, no one was in the room with me, I stopped when I sat down, and then I heard a hum. La dee da. La la la. Dee do da la dee said a voice outside, it echoed off the tiled walls and floor, it sounded as if a young girl had entered and was singing quietly right outside my door, except the bathroom door had never opened, I looked under and saw the shadow of feet. But I looked farther up and there was no flesh, no feet, just a shadow, I heard giggling and running footsteps down the ramp, then they just suddenly stopped. I kept looking under, but the shadows were gone and there were no feet, the noise of the door opening and closing never came, I quickly finished and ran out of the room, terrified that Sheldon and Lucille had followed us to the new gym, we could never escape their presence. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video hit that like button to support my work. And as always enjoy the fear my dear.